Just before the new year, Denmark's Queen Margareta II announced her surprise abdication. But who was the last British monarch to abdicate? Back in 1936, after ruling for less than one year, Edward VIII became the first English monarch to renounce the throne. He chose to abdicate after the British government, public and the Church of England condemned his decision to marry the American divorcee, Wallace Warfield Simpson. Wallace Simpson was an American socialite. While seeing Edward, she was married to Ernest Simpson, an English-American businessman. She had also previously divorced a US Navy pilot. The royal family disapproved of Edward's married mistress, but by 1936, he was intent on marrying her. Before he could discuss his wishes with his father, George V died in January 1936, and Edward was proclaimed king. To the Church of England and most British politicians, an American woman twice divorced was unacceptable as a prospective British queen. However, despite mounting disapproval, Edward could not be dissuaded. He proposed a marriage in which Wallace would be granted no rights of rank or property. However, then Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin rejected the suggestion as impractical. The next day, British newspapers broke the news and the situation was discussed openly in Parliament. With no resolution possible, the King abdicated the throne on December 10th. On the evening of December 11th, he gave a radio address explaining his decision. They have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. God bless you all. God save the king. On December 12th, his younger brother, the Duke of York, was proclaimed King George VI. The new King George VI made his older brother the Duke of Windsor. In June 1937, the Duke of Windsor and Wallace Warfield married in France. They lived there for the next two years and visited other European countries, where the Duke was honoured by Nazi officials in October 1937 and met with Adolf Hitler. The moment is referenced in the hit Netflix series, The Crown. After World War II broke out, Edward took a position as liaison officer with the French before the country fell to Nazis. He then moved to Spain, but the Nazis plotted to kidnap and return him to the British throne as a puppet king. Unaware of the kidnapping plot, but conscious of Edward's pre-war Nazi sympathies, Winston Churchill offered him the governorship of the Bahamas in the West Indies. He set sail in August 1940, narrowly escaping a Nazi SS team sent to seize them. In 1945, the Duke resigned his post and the couple moved back to France. They lived mainly in Paris and Edward made a few visits to England, such as to attend the funerals of King George VI in 1952 and his mother, Queen Mary, in 1953. Edward died in Paris in 1972 but was buried at Frogmore on the grounds of Windsor Castle.